download MyViewBoard for Windows, head to MyViewBoard.com. You don't need to sign in, just find Resources, and then choose the download link. This will open up the download page. Likewise, if you're already signed in to MyViewBoard.com, you can use the download link at the top of the page. It looks like an arrow pointing down. You can see it right here. Click on that and that opens the same download window. Choose My Viewboard for Windows 64-bit. Depending on your browser, it might download differently, but we can see the EXE downloading here in Google Chrome. Once it's finished, go ahead and click it to open. The installer will start and follow the prompts. Make sure you accept the agreement. And here's where you need to enter your email. When you get to this screen, you'll see there's an option to name your view board. So we're going to go ahead and call this ViewSonic Panel. Next, it's going to ask me for an email so that I can activate the software. I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. You are going to have to type it in twice. Just like any email, double check to make sure that they both match. At the bottom, where it says education under theme, go ahead and leave it there, unless you teach gym or something like that and you would like to choose sport. When you're finished, go ahead and click next. After you click next, go ahead and click the install button and we'll let the installer run here for a second. When the installation is complete, you can go ahead and click the finish button. Now, we did get an email for activation, but I want to show you what happens if we don't activate the software. So I'm going to go ahead and open my view board, which has been installed here on my desktop with a shortcut. If you need to access it from the Windows menu, just go find the ViewSonic folder, which is towards the bottom under V, and then choose My View Board. Once the software boots up for the first time, we might get this error message, which is reminding us that, oops, we haven't activated our software yet. Go ahead and choose OK. You'll get another error that says, local save has been disabled until you can activate it. So we're going to go ahead and close My View Board and let's go open our email. The email we get will be titled My View Board Client Software Activate. This is an automated message. When you open the email, you'll see this activate software with a big red activate link. Go ahead and click that red rectangle and it'll open a new tab saying that your software has been activated successfully. Let's go test it to see that our software is activated. So let's open My View Board and this time it should skip the error message, which it did, so we're successfully activated. If you need to resend the activation email, you can go to the settings cogwheel in the top right, and then under the I, you'll see here that it shows your email that the software is registered to. If it hasn't been activated yet, there will be a resend link underneath there.